manifestors. This is Iris from universaliris.com, Facebook, Universal Iris. And boy, are you in for a treat today because I think today's topic is definitely one of the most important topics I will literally ever talk about. Um, well, it's all about how to deal with stress and anxiety when you are expecting your manifestations. And we all know that that, is, that has a name and that is called resistance. How to deal with resistance while you're expecting your manifestations. I'm very, very excited to talk to you guys about this because I do not come from being, you know, a love attraction certified, uh, certified coach. I come from being a, you know, the holistic branch and being certified in past life regression and inner child regression therapy hypnotherapy might I add. My intentions were first were to help people. And as I was helping people with their anxieties or traumas or abuse or you know exactly you know pinpoint where their insecurities came from, as I was able to help clear my clients off of their limiting beliefs, all of a sudden, bam, their manifestations were right there. Okay? So this is why I decided to, you know, dive into uh, with time into the law of attraction because I was on to something, right? And what I was on to is to realize that we all have pathways in our mind and we all have these loops that we go in our heads, right? I call it the negative loop. And by the way, that loop is already science, my friend. Okay, so what, what happens is, is that we have this certain goal, this certain manifestation that we want into our lives. As soon as we put that intention out there, your mind starts to basically hinder you. Your mind starts to work against you into how you're not going to receive it, how it's not going to happen. And sometimes we give it up all together. Actually, not sometimes. Many of us, we give it up all together, right? But the truth is, is that I want you to look into your fears and I want you to look into those repetitive thoughts that are happening in your mind they are telling you so much about yourself and instead of just shutting yourself down and putting yourself down like oh stop thinking that and oh my god I'm I'm so crappy and like oh this is not gonna happen and what am I thinking just be kind to those thoughts and listen to them what are they really saying and ask yourself what do they remind me of because your joy, your love, your life, your manifestations, your car, your job, your career, your abundance is on the other side of those thoughts. And so instead of just, you know, what most, this is what I notice most coaches do. Just put on the affirmations and, and, and train the mind, train the mind. It doesn't really quite work that way. You have to first heal yourself emotionally and then you can train your mind. Okay, because healing yourself emotionally is what is going to break away from the repetitive thinking. And then what happens is, is that the mind does create loops and then you have to learn to guide your mind into thinking more abundantly. This is why gratitude is such a big deal. So this is what I'm saying to you. Like I don't come from, you know, I right now I'm literally living the life that I want to live. I right now I, I, I most of my income comes from coaching people and I recently developed my intuition high enough to be able to do psychic work, which is something that I always wanted to do. And the number one thing that I help heal people the most is from their childhood, because we adapted these beliefs, these insecurities, um, these, these traumas and abuse in childhood. And your inner child is what is going to help you have the vision to manifest whatever it is that you're looking for. I know, it sounds a little bit out there, but the truth is, is that the moment that I help people go back in a safe way and through a deep meditative state in a safe way to face their insecurities, most of it are based on misunderstandings, by the way. And second of all, once they're able to face that, it's like this huge shift, <sighs> this, shoot, this huge shift happening within their bodies and they are no longer attracting the same situations where they feel threatened or they don't feel good enough. So this is a huge, huge secret, you can say, to revealing and understanding how your manifestations work. 
And this is why I tell people, whenever you feel anxiety, instead of feeling even more anxious, instead of hating yourself even more, instead of putting yourself down, talk to yourself. Talk to that part of yourself that is scared. And talk to yourself as if it was a child. See what it's trying to tell you. And if you feel compelled to work with somebody else, because most of the time, oh, I think I can do this on my own. I think I can do that on my own. I'm sorry, honey, when I was developing myself and I was really finding my purpose, I did not do this on my own. I had several people that helped me with it. So what makes you think that you're gonna do it on your own? And actually, the opposite goes to, to the people that always want to be working with somebody else. It's like, if you're always clinging onto somebody, maybe, just maybe, it's time to let go and let the universe work its magic by facing your own inner fears with you know, somebody or with yourself in a way that you can understand that most of our fears and all of our fears, first of all, it's all an illusion. And then second of all, it comes from our past. This is why being present is so important. Being present is doesn't come from, oh, just, just listen and be here, be now. No, being present really means stop putting misconceptions from the past into your present life. And that is the magic. I literally live every day filled with magic. I've been able to, to declutter my mind so much that now I'm doing psychic work for other people. And this is something that I always wanted to do and I never had the balls to admit it to myself and not even to my family. I actually told my family last year, hey guys, you know what, by the way, I actually wanna be a psychic. Like, I wanna do psychic work. And now this year, maybe like literally, probably I told them this year. Hmm, sometime last year or this year, but it literally feels like eight months later is when I actually got hired as an independent contractor to do psychic work. And I literally now see energy and I can see how people's energy affects them in their emotional state. Things around my house move, guys. But those things do not make me alarm. Those things are just letting me know that I'm in training to expand my consciousness even more. However, this all started to happen when I actually started to question and try to understand my insecurities. Like, who taught me to think this way? And what moment in time in my life made me, you know, have this insecurity and have this fear that is now hindering my goals? So I hope that you guys, you know, really feel awakened by this information. You know, we have literally gateways in our minds. Then when we start to exercise them through our fears and actually understand that when we have this repetitive thought, it's not that it's going to hold us back is that it's actually trying to teach us and it's trying to help us <laughs> how to let it go. <laughs> and so the best advice that I can give you is work through inspiration. It's called inspired action. If you feel compelled to buy a certain book about your situation, then do it. If you feel compelled to work with somebody one-on-one, -on -one, then maybe that's what you have to do right now. It doesn't always have to be you know, forever you yourself are gonna figure out if this is something that you should do or not. You know, I love to, when I work with my clients, I love to let them decide what it is that they need to work at. Um, but, you know, one of the biggest things is to realize, hey, maybe, just maybe, I need a little help. So anyways, guys, I hope that this um, really enlightened you, really helped you feel good. Um, just know that these fears are there to teach you. They're not there to hinder your growth. And please don't give up on your dreams because again, your joy, your love, your abundance, your money, your job, your, your family life, your car, your dream house is on the other side of those thoughts. And just know that those thoughts do not just manifest on their own like that. Those thoughts come from experiences in the past, even listening to your parents at the dinner table. Yes, I used to hear my mom all the time saying that there's no money, there's no money, and boy, did that hinder me in my adult life. So this is my message to you. It all comes from somewhere, and there's always ways of letting it go. I love you guys, and mwah, have a great one. <laughs> Happy manifesting.